What's the crack lads and welcome back. So today we are going to take a quick look at the new, well, new, okay, they're not new, they're recycled. This pack was already out, it's just that there's more in it now, obviously there's 21 I think players in it, we'll just double check, but they're calling it in cord, on cord, whatever you want to call it, stars, December 29th. Uh, obviously we will be getting the Manchester United and Manchester City Derby Day uh, pack as well, uh, that'll be coming Monday. And we can just take a quick look at that there in a bit. Obviously, these players don't have any player levels, so they are what you get. They're the finalized versions of it. Look, there are some nice players in this, and I'm going to focus on a couple of them. I've already done a player review pack of pretty much all of the players in these packs. I'll try and link it in the comments below where I covered when these were released before as player of the weeks. Um, and literally, there is only a couple here that are worth mentioning, in my opinion. Like anyone from back here, apart from Salaba and uh, Kvaretskhelia, I'm not going to really focus on too much because they're just kind of average players. Like even Dallo here, like you are you know what you're going to get. And there's a lot of right backs that are better than this. Standard form, doesn't have blocker, doesn't have early cross. Oh, well, he does have early crosser and pinpoint crossing, sorry. But he doesn't have any like, you know, man marking or anything like that. Doesn't have blister and pace. Doesn't, you know, isn't the best defensively. Stamina is quite poor for a right back as well to be getting up and down the pitch. And then even the likes of somebody like um, this goalkeeper, you know, 76 reflexes, getting the bin. Uh, Kaza, the, right, the center back, I know a few people like him as a left back, but to me, he's he's just not good enough, not fast enough for a full back, not uh, big enough or defensive enough for a center back with the way the game is playing. So we're just going to be focusing on a couple of the standout ones. You can spin these uh, as, lo you know, as long as you want. So if you spin 22 times, you are going to get in clear this agent. So I suppose if you look at it that way, it is kind of a handy enough way that you probably will get, you know, Pedri, Odegaard, Haaland, Mbappe, Fatty, Bastoni, Modric, and Coleman. Like those eight players alone are probably worth spinning because if you don't have, you know, any of those players or you have got the standard versions of them, these players are extremely, extremely good. Like even Coleman, who I'm not going to fe feature too much in this video, He's got excellent uh, player skills. He's got a super sub player card there as well, or player skill as you see there. Long range shooting, can shoot from everywhere. Um, really, really good blister and pace. He can play left mid or left wing, right mid or right wing. And then obviously you've got that pace, 94 each in speed and acceleration, 90 dribbling. His balance is 86. His stamina is a bit poor, but I will be bringing him on as a super sub in the 70 minute and just ripping it up the wings and be able to cross the ball in as well. He doesn't have early crosser or pinpoint crossing, but he's more of a trickster, more of getting on the ball, turning and going, running and gunning. So that's somebody to keep an eye on as well. Um, who else did I want to feature? This guy, Luis Alberto, a very, very good player on wavering form. Excellent player skills, really good dribble, dribbling skills and passing skills. One touch pass, true passing, weighted pass, outside curler unwavering as i said long ball expert and then you just look at the stats as well excellent stats in attack defensively you're not going to be wanting him in your team obviously uh if you're looking for a box to box but this guy is just able to pick so many different difficult passes lofted pass and low pass in the 90s ball control and dribbling 93 and 91 excellent balance is good kick and power is good he can keep you honest with some long range shots and then you've got Ansu Fati as well as Bastoni. We've covered Bastoni quite a bit. A lot of people rave by him. He's a very tall player. He is going to have that unwavering form. He doesn't have blocker, but he does have every other defensive stat. Blocker is the only one that stops him from being OP. Uh, but the rest of his stats are quite good. And Ansu Fati, a really good winger as well. Very attack-based. Obviously going to be dribble-centric. You're not going to be crossing the ball too much with him, even though he does have um the ability to get the ball in he doesn't have lofted pass which is very very low and i think that you will need a better player to, to you know to get the ball in the box if you're looking to play a big man up front but very good pace as well so who are we going to focus on well the rest of the players here i think we are going to start with this guy obviously uh napoli's cavariats hilia cavarts hilia cavarts hilia cavarts hilia yeah i can't really pronounce his name but i think that's it but yeah, we are going to go over to eFootball DB, even though these players don't have player levels. Just take a look at his stats here, man. He's got very, very basic stats. He does have obviously got that team play style proficiency in the 90s, so you can play him in any formation. But the big thing about this guy is he's just kind of a unique player. He's got some unique animations, unique ability to actually get up and down the pitch. And he's just fun to play with, man. He's fun to play with. We've also got Furihashi who is Celtic's uh, player as well. He is in as a goal poacher in this one, so it's a very interesting card. 
obviously if you're going to be taking a look at um spinning for these they're 100 coins so you have to kind of weigh up whether it's going to be worth spinning if you want a player that you you know maybe you've already got a few of these players before um but they obviously are going to be in a different pack now uh this guy with unwavering form one touch pass true passing he's a bit of a different type of center forward but he still has that uh really good stat of offensive awareness being 85 his speed and acceleration and balance are excellent and his finishing is excellent as well so he is kind of like a romario s type player just obviously not going to be as good as romario odegaard is somebody that i haven't really featured i've kind of slept on him but now that his face has been up updated and stuff odegaard is definitely a player that i would um i would recommend in checking out he's got excellent i won't say he's got excellent player id because the player id in the game is still kind of limited um but i think since the update he has looked better like he his ai seems to be a bit more improved he's got excellent ball control dribbling his passing stats everything are off the charts um he's got so many different types of player skills very unique kind of player right it, with that unwavering form you're also going to have true passing pinpoint crossing you've got the long ball expert as a playing style and you've got some really good uh kind of miscellaneous skills as well such as marseille turn cut behind and turn long range shooting heel trick and captaincy so he's a very kind of unusual unique player that's definitely worth a pop as well we've also got one of my favorites pedri right pedri is probably one of my favorite players in the game i continuously go back to him when i'm struggling i bring him in off the bench he's got very unique player skills and a very unique player base uh, card as well You've got that tight possession, dribbling and ball control with the low pass, balance and stamina. So for a center midfielder, he's perfect. He'll still, he'll last 90 minutes, man. He will last a full 90 minutes, no problem. Also defensively, he's quite solid. This card is very, very good defensively as well. There ha has been a lot of, um, there have been a lot of Pedri cards. So like you look at the Barcelona card there, his base from here. Now, obviously you can train this guy up like to be a lot higher, um, but his base here is actually quite decent this barcelona pack his aggression the original barcelona pack his aggression is way below it the spanish pack is very similar as well but obviously you're gonna to have to train it up but i think that this 94 version of him is one of the better ones definitely he's got a lot of good stats he's got the play, team play style and he's got a couple of uh, player skills that are different from this one so he's got a few less ones there and then last but not least we have Haaland. we're not going to focus on mbappe because you know what you're getting with mbappe everyone has mbappe by now with the free but Haaland is definitely worth a punt, definitely, because number one, he's got super sub, which is hugely important if you are going to be looking to score a goal in the last couple of, couple of minutes of the game. First time shot, super sub, fighting spirit. The only thing with this card, man, that kind of makes him a bit of a bust is his balance. But if you play him in a certain way, you don't need to really focus on that balance too much. So yeah, everything else is absolutely insane. Offensive awareness, finishing, speed, kicking power and jumping he's he's just a one-man army man he's absolutely insane uh and when they do bring back the player rate and you know you're going to have Haaland on b or a form every week with his form at city so yeah he's definitely the pick as well if you are going to spin but yeah it's a bit disappointing man this time of the year i would have liked to see a few more different cards um than these recycled ones but let me know if it's a spin or a skip and that is just a couple of the ones that i would definitely recommend if you don't have them but again the standard players of these cars can be trained up very very similar to these ones so you're either going to spend the time to grind or you want to spend the time um to just or you want to spend uh, the coins to get these guys straight off the rip with no training needed no training progression nothing anything like that so that's it for me lads as i said go back and check my other video where i focused on a few more of the players no point repeating myself but that is it for another video hope you subscribe for more videos of this nature and we'll be back with dream team soon peace